Ooh, that looks a little bit disgusting. The black hole where everything disappears and there's no turning back. Hello, welcome! How are you guys doing today? I want to thank you for come hanging out with me here so we can have some fun together. Now in today's episode I started with thinking to do something very simple but it turned out to be a whole list with to do's. So I'm gonna tell you about it in just a second. So. Let's go do it. We gonna need these guys right here. Because uh, the plan was that I was going to tame an Akatina and an Ashatina. I don't know how you pronounce it exactly, but I think it's Akatina, the snails. Because uh, we. Uh, are now using the the fabricator as you saw the last time or the the episode before that I don't remember and uh, a problem is the cementing paste you need a whole lot of chitin to make the cementing paste or you need the the beaver dams and that's not easy either and those Akatina yeah, Akatinas, they make cementing pastes. So, I was going to catch one, but to tame them, you need uh, the veggie cakes. Sweet veggie cakes. So, to make those, you need honey, you need tree sap, a whole lot of vegetables, a bunch of stimulants. So, you need a whole lot. So that is pretty much the plan today, we're gonna set everything, everything up and starting with finding a bee so she can start making honey. After that we're gonna put uh, the thing in the, in the tree so it, ca it can gather uh, trees up. I don't know what it's called exactly, tree sap collector or something like that don't think it's here, it's in the fabricator. So after that we can do that, so that can collect as well. And after that we're gonna make a long neck rifle because to put out the Akatina to knock it out you have to do something that does a lot of torpor but not a lot of damage. So. Maybe I didn't learn it, or it is here. No. Let's check if I learned it or not. I thought I did, but... Let's try this first. Three. Sap. I don't know what what's it called. I forgot. Oh, tree sap tap. Okay, <laughs> just a little word that I forgot. So I did learn it. Crafted at Smithy. So why didn't I see it? Armor, navigation, saddles, structures, weapons. Is there a weapon? No, can't imagine it's a weapon. Maybe structures? Misc? Yeah, here it is. So, we're gonna do that later on. First, we need a bee. That's now the important part. Now, to, uh, to do that, we have to find a hive. And uh, to destroy the hive, you can use best those, uh, those dymos. So, I have four of them, so should be no problem. So these guys we're gonna bring along 
as well as an old dino, I don't know, maybe a flyer. So guys, I left my dinos in the forest, I had to come back because I forgot pretty much everything. I didn't have the rare flowers, so let's take those. I didn't have my uh, ghillie suit or buck repellent and those things we all gonna need. So a ghillie suit, that's the first the buck repellent, what do we need for that? Let's hope you have the, the things we need. So citronel, narcotics, belt, not, wool, not, hair we do have from myself my personal hair and rock carrots so citronelles and carrots there you go take a bit of those some rock carrots okay then narcotics and my personal bunch of hair 74 perfect and let's take those narcotics there we go Now how much can we make? We can craft 12 of them. So let's make them all. I don't know how much I'm going to need so let's be sure. Now guineas. I have a lot from the from the loot drop so let's hope yeah that's one I found lately luckily because that's the only thing I was missing. So we have the mask the chest piece, here the leggings, the gloves or gauntlets and the boots. So that's everything. So how does that look? Oh yeah. Like a pro. Okay, I'm gonna wait until this the buck repellent is made up and uh, I'm gonna return to the, my dimos and I did find uh, a bee's hive over there so the search is over it's just a catching so I'll bring you guys back when I'm there see you guys over there okay guys here we are back to our little guys and right there is the beehive and if there's one inside we should hear it oh yeah we can definitely hear it otherwise there will be no no sound like that and there would be just honey inside of it which you can take one every day it replenish i think something like that so i think this it's not gonna be too close now we are gonna make them attack the hive it's gonna break we are gonna call passive on them so they will return to me and uh, I'm gonna take one of the guys on my uh, shoulder maybe we should do that right away let's do this Perfect. You can't follow me. Now, where are you? 
Here, C map should be a high level. Yeah. He was a uh, 135 when I found him. So let's take him. Give him some more health. So you gonna follow me. Uh, neutral. Okay. Let's hope he stays on my back now when I whistle the attack. So they're gonna attack it, destroy it, and as soon as it is destroyed, I'm gonna call passive and they're gonna return to the bird. Then we're gonna leave them all behind. Or at least for all passive. Maybe I should make them follow me. No, I, I have the coordinates, so I will find them again afterwards. So call them passive, and then we're gonna go after the bee. Uh, it's a passive team, so let's do that as well. So we have flowers to give her to eat. Those can go on the last slot. The repellent goes on the first one because the crossbow we will not need. We don't need to trank her, so that can go in the inventory. That should be all. So when we call them passive, I'm gonna go after the bee and feed her until she is tamed. I don't know how long it's gonna take. And the guy on my shoulder is gonna kill the bees that attack me. Because as soon as I come too close to the bee, she's gonna send the workers after me to attack me. Okay. Those can follow me. Is that too close? I don't even know. Let's be certain. Let's take this one. Yeah, that seems safer. Now, the spyglass, like that. The hive in the middle, we call attack target. And that we be ready to call passive as soon as it breaks. Passive, they should come back now. There they are. So we're gonna leave them here. So is uh, is he still on my shoulder or not? Okay, he is. Use the bug repellent, and let's go look for the bee, the giant. Be the queen bee. So there she is. He's not hungry. So we're gonna wait a little because she's not hungry.
I don't know how long you have to wait exactly. Oh, there she is! We got her! We have our giant queen bee. Except... Okay, let's do that later. Hello! Where is she? There she is. Obtain beehive. Oh. oh man, so glad we got her. So now we can make the beehive at home and we can make or she can make honey for us. So I'm gonna return home now and uh, I should have better uh, taken the tree sap tab along so we could do that right away. But uh, I think I'm gonna make some tree platforms as well, so otherwise it's gonna be hard to take the sap out of the tap. <laughs> the sap out of the tap. Okay, you can go. Uh, the slow one is the white one. Yeah, that's you. Those are the fastest ones, so they can follow. Okay, that's all three of them. Okay. Now, back home it is. Don't know if we can put it in this one. They're a bit close to each other, but we can try. So, this is the platform. There we go. And then we have the, the taps. So one there. Oh, so you can put four in them. So next time I, I bring two more. But for now, or is it only three? One, two, three. Yeah, it's four. There we go. Two taps ready to go. Have some sap for me. Do you have some sap for me? Okay, I'll come back later. See you guys back home. Oh. There we go. No escape for you. Yeah, you just bite the wood, that's no problem. Have the crossbow. Go away you little thief. Did you steal something? No you did not. What's with the pink? Ooh, that looks a little bit disgusting. The black hole where everything disappears and there's no turning back. Okay, back to the tranking. Of course he's gonna she is gonna be running around now instead of attacking the wood. You screwed everything up. Now I'm gonna have to hope it shoots. It uh, hits her in the head, the arrow. Where is she? Oh, there she is. Yep, 
Yeah, I'm not the best shot, so... There we go. Did I hit her? I don't even know. Now I did. No doubt about it. So where did the other arrow go? Is it in the wood somewhere? And I picked it up maybe. Let's take this arrow. I should place a door one of these days. Here on the outside. But uh, I just hate how it looks. It's not uh, the same height as the, the wall. The railing. So it doesn't fit very well. As you can see here. That's why I placed two doors here. With the railings on top of it. Here it doesn't matter that much. Are you sleepy? Yeah, you just sleep it out. In the meanwhile, I'm gonna give you some prime. Don't know it's gonna be enough, but let's hope it is. I do have some uh, cooked prime meat that I can give her if necessary. Okay, there she is. Our new Dilo. It actually was enough. It only took three pieces of uh, Prime and she was tamed. As you can see, I still have two left. Pick her up. Now, a name. That's always a problem. A name. I'm gonna think about it and as soon as she is named I will show you guys but for now we're gonna go on with the job and it's a new day and with that there are new things to do so I was going here through my bookshelf yeah my bookshelves because uh, wrong, wrong, wrong mistake. Because uh, I was thinking about the the long neck rifle that I have to make. I know I picked one up. It's right here. This is a blueprint for a Mastercraft long neck rifle. But in the same supply drop, there was also here this one uh, apprentice long neck rifle. So. Those are not the best, the Ascendant is of course, and after that comes Mastercraft, so I don't know if this one is gonna be better, the Apprentice, or if even the crossbow, Ascendant crossbow is better than the long neck rifle when it's Apprentice. But we're gonna, gonna try it out, the Apprentice one, and if it doesn't cut it, we can make the, the Mastercraft one and it's only one grade under the Ascendant one, so that one should do. So we have the long neck rifle. What we need of course is bullets for it, or better said, the Trang darts. I should have already bought the blueprint for that. Here ammo, yeah here it is, tranquilizer dart, we are gonna need bullets for that, so it takes two metal ignits, ingots, I don't know why I always say ignits, can't talk, can't walk, three narcotics and one simple rifle ammo and first you have to make the simple rifle ammo of course and that's gonna take 12 gunpowder and two metal ingots so let's start with this how much can we make only 33 so that's not gonna be enough 
So let's take some more ingots. Should be here. Let's take them all. I'll make some new ones later. I'm uncumbered. Overcumbered. Uncumbered. Where is it? There it is. Throw this one. There we go. This can all go in the smithy. So now how much can you make? Still 33, so it's gonna be the gunpowder of course. What was I even thinking? It's 12 gunpowder. So did I make extra gunpowder? I don't even know. Is that gunpowder? Okay it is. Let's take those. Gump. Yes, let's put all the gump inside the smithy. Very good. Now we should be able to make a lot more. There, 75? Is that all? Man, that's expensive. So I guess let's make 75 then. Now, narcotics. So, 50 times 3 is 150. So, you're gonna make five, uh, 50 train darts. Sorry for the own language again. Just forget to speak English sometimes. So we have a bunch of that. Okay, we can make hundreds of those, so let's do that. There we go. So we're gonna have 50 and 50 extra in case of never know. Think we maybe gonna keep them on my body. I like to have some extra on me. What is it, horsey? Thirsty? Oh, it's a cloudy day. So I did make an extra plot to make the the stimulants I have a bunch inside my my feeding trough so I'm not gonna be needing it right away but later on we're gonna have extra I also tried one I went close after I put the taps I went to get some some sap I took four out just to make one uh, one uh, veggie cake and I was hoping with all those materials that you need that it would make one uh, more than one veggie cake but no just uh, just fortunate thinking it was only one so this is so expensive I don't know how I'm gonna make that much of those to tame the Akatina and 
feed it with this with these cakes that's so expensive I also got some honey as you can see I hope there's gonna be more in the the beehive now let's do the stimulants I already got some here from before so I still got six left I used uh, the rest to make the veggie cake but we're gonna leave those inside for the moment you can use them if you need them so for stimulant we gonna need spark powder and stim berries I already made a bunch of those spark powders and those are ready let's take those out and make a few taps as well so we can make only two because of the cementing paste of course so let's make two So it's here on the on the horse which actually has a saddle that also is a mortar and pestle so it's really handy you just go around get stone and flint and you can make spar powder or other things so drugs stimulants spar powder and stim berries so let's get the stim berries let's take a bunch put them in the butt of the horse Let's craft those. How much can we make of those? 80. So that should be far enough. Should we make all of them? Hey, why not? Let's make those. Maybe gets me closer to level 80. Because I really need it. We can make the the scuba gear and we can open the deep sea loot crates then. That's also we're gonna do as soon as we have the scuba gear. There's a all, always special gear inside of those or better gear. Now what else? We have the gun to tranquilize it. that goes there bullets there we go Okay. What else do we have to do? That's pretty much it. Just go get the set now. So yeah, I'm gonna do that and I'll see you guys when I return with the tree sap. So I got 40 tree sap. So I'm pretty sure to make a lot of veggie cakes the bottleneck is going to be the honey. Especially now in the beginning, now that I have to make a lot of those veggie cakes, I'm gonna need a lot of honey because 
uh, it takes what two honey to make one veggie cake and four sap so yeah the honey I think it's every 45 minutes it gives you one the hive so after collecting the sap I came here in the forest looking for a beehive so I found one and uh, as you can see on my pterano down here I have five honeys pots of honey those came from inside of those uh, those that hive the hive that you see here the way I did it this one I got lucky because of the rocks here I built two foundations two ceilings and a stair the stairs here so it's perfect to take it so when you hear that they're gonna probably attack you no not this time but if you take the honey they will attack you and it's not the little bees it's the it's giant bees that gonna attack you and when they sting you sting you you are not gonna be able to move so the best thing you can do is uh, take the honey make a little distance away from the hive with your pike ready and just kill them all as quickly as possible then you just wait it out and as soon as you can walk you just go home and you can come back when you want and take some more uh, ghillie suits uh, bug repellent you can use it but it won't matter because as soon as you take the the honey out of it they gonna attack you no matter what so the only solution is killing them so yeah, I'm heading back now with the honey and the sap and we are ready to make the veggie cakes and to go hunt an Agatina so see you there guys and it's finished so I did make a little mistake with the calculations I didn't have enough honey to make all of that I took the two of the three so I could make one more so I do have seven yeah seven of them so it's enough to go tame one and have some food left for him so that's what we're gonna do next so I'm gonna look for an Agatina and I'll show you guys when I find one see you there okay guys we're back with an Agatina I went to my go-to place where we had the beaver dams only there's no more beaver dams now instead of that there was a couple of titan boas so it's a little less pleasant over there but there was still the Agatina it's uh, level 75 yeah 75 so not that it matters and uh, I brought it here I didn't put it inside of the cage because they need water otherwise they lose life of course when coming here I had a little accident I dropped it inside of the water amazingly it didn't die it just crawled out of, of slide it out I should say I stayed with it and killed the piranhas and uh, waited for it to get out of the water which, which did take some time before it happened because she is not the fastest of he is not the fastest who is not fast is the he or a she where is the information what's going on hello uh, we can't see but it's one of the two that's certain please do not go in the water because I have to drink you now and down 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 he she oh it's it's an it down it goes 
Yes, you're sleeping now, I know. Can I get back the bullet? No. It's not like an arrow. So, veggie cakes. Let's see how much it's going to need. I maybe should have looked for a, a, a lower level, but hey, it was right there, so I just took it. How much food? I love 11.43. 10.48, almost 100. I don't know when it's gonna eat. More than 100. Maybe 150, I don't know. So that should be at 90. Three nine nine hundred ninety three. No, not even that. Okay, maybe this will take some time. I'll bring you guys back in a little while and give you an update. There she is, guys. There it is, guys. It's a uh, not easy to name something that is an it. We can call it it. Or maybe just something obvious like... No, wrong. Change name. So, something obvious like this. There we go. Shelly is born. So yeah. It was just tamed and I brought it to the little cage here that I built while I was waiting for it to be tamed. And uh, it already had cementing paste in it so it's gonna be a real big help. We're gonna just leave it to do its thing. I built it a bit in the water. I was a little, a little scared first that uh, it would maybe drown if it's not uh, when I'm not with it and I don't see what it's doing. It maybe would go too deep here in the corner or something and drown, but it has no oxygen stat, so it can drown. That's why it didn't drown before either when I dropped it in the water by accident. So yeah, that's a good thing. We're gonna leave it to it and we'll come back later when we need some cementing paste. If I find another one, I will tame it as well and we're gonna find it a little friend. And that's gonna be it for today, guys. It's time to end the episode. Today's video has been going on a little longer than usually and what Shelly is saying now is she's hoping or he or it is hoping that you guys don't mind and if you do to just blame it. Don't blame me, it's not my fault because before she wanted to be our friend, he, it wanted to be our friend, man this is confusing. Yeah, I know, you're a person also, even if you are it. So, before it wanted to be our friend, we had to do a whole list. The, the honey and, and, and the veggies and, and the tree sap and all that. Yeah, it was a whole list, but we finally did it. So, I hope you guys don't mind and appreciate that we did all that to catch this little guy. Go it now i want to thank you all for watching now go have fun and thumbs up for sweet sweet cake